after some Python on hardware. All right, this week, the newsletter, it's big, it's beefy, it has a ton of projects. Um, so it's kind of bad. People are getting back into doing electronics. Yeah. They can get, cards, they can get boards. They're like, oh, I have this idea. Yeah. And so um, thanks to everyone who sends in news every week. Uh, Anne is the editor of this. It's, I think, um, the biggest, best resource for Python on hardware, but we also cover a lot of stuff. So Hacktober Fest is going on. Um, we celebrate, this is the 10th anniversary of Hacktoberfest. So basically there's virtual and in-person events. You can learn new skills. You can, um, check out what's going on in other programming languages. We happen to, you know, like doing a lot of Python. Um, CircuitPython is participating in Hacktoberfest. Making simple requests, um, is Hacktober eligible. So keep an eye on our blog for details and more. Um, and the reward system is shifting from t-shirts to virtual rewards. So you can check out their rewards and more you also have the reward of feeling good about contributing to open source software yeah you know great and, way to get started yeah i'll um i'll have a little bit of a a little bit of a rant soon but you know there are communities online that aren't dividing people that aren't making you like i hate this i hate them there's ones that bring people together and hacktoberfest is a really good one because it has a beginning middle and end and you just you just get to choose oh here's stuff i want to do you could pick an open source project and you can do something that's useful for it. This is like really wholesome and, and really good. This is, yeah, the, you know, part of our, part of our job, we have to like wade through a lot of stuff. Um, some of it's not great. And some of the things that are online isn't that fun to look at, but this is. So, you know, since um, 2014, they have 147,000 participants. If you want to feel good about technology, because sometimes it's not so fun. Um, this is one to, to look And we have community members that will help you with your yeah. first PR. Um, there's a lot, there's something for everything, you know, if you're a beginner, uh, somebody who wants to help with documentation, somebody who wants to write examples, somebody who wants to do core development. Yeah. There's something for everybody. A lot of to get your feet wet. First, good first issues. Lots of them. Um, like I said, we cover lots of things. So here's an interview with, uh, Evan, Raspberry Pi founder. Um, you know, lots of things you can imagine has been going on in the world of Raspberry Pi, lots ahead too. But if you want to get caught up in like, do they have Raspberry Pis now? What's ahead? What's going on? What are they doing with Pico? Um, we're uh, switch gears a little bit. We're getting all of our pieces ready for version nine. That just means a lot of merging with MicroPython and CircuitPython. You can kind of keep an eye on our progress and more. There's like expressive stuff we got to do. And then there's uh, MicroPython 1.20 things to do. So we want to get the latest. Yeah, yeah we want to get the latest stuff in there. Um, you can check out the EuroPython talks and videos. And then um, just tons and tons of projects. This one was just on Hackaday. That's cool. Um, you know, one button press keyboard, and you could check out just a variety of projects. Um, seeing some clock projects, lots of clock I love this clock, this is beautiful. It's a good data yeah. uh, inspired, yeah. A uh, brawn. So, if you want to, like, oh, oh cool, like I have some hardware, I know I can run some stuff on it. If you want to get some ideas for projects, um, uh, we have a good smattering of this with uh, a lot of Python focus if that's your jam, but we also cover a lot of other stuff too. Um, Sometimes if we see like, oh, there's a scripting language for a microcontroller. We'll... Yeah, it's good. Like, this is more than just. Yeah, we, big tent. You know, we, we're kind of like, oh, like, you know, scripting languages on microcontrollers would also be a fair description of what we think about our newsletter. So uh, that's our newsletter this week. You can get this delivered every single week. Go to adafordaily.com. It's a separate website. We do that so you don't ever think that your store experience, your adafruit.com, customer account is in any way tied to emails or newsletters, we don't like spam even more than you. 